Today, Marco Friendly Zombie has gone ahead and invited us to a camping site, but I have a feeling his idea of camping is completely different to mine. So what I thought to do today is go ahead and show Marco Friendly Zombie an upgraded experience of camping. And for that, we have everything ready. So I do want to go ahead and check out his camping site because I have a feeling, according to him, everything is set up. Mark, how's it all going? Everything looks so wonderful here. He's got his campfire, his logs, where Baby Zombie is pretty much enjoying the wonderful view. And I can see loads of cows pretty much dying on these bear traps, which isn't a good news. Mark, you need to keep an eye on these. We don't want some innocent cows dying for the rest of the day. And I can already see he's set up a grill. Mark, this is going to be so cool. Okay, let me take out a flint and steel and also some raw beef. One that we got from the bear trap. Let's light this afire and let's put some raw beef right on top. Perfect and awesome. I can hear it frying. Mug, keep an eye on it. It'll pretty much be ready in a few seconds. But I don't want anything to happen to the meat, especially if you turn away and look at Marie and it burns a light. Well, I can already see as well we've got some wonderful beds and some lanterns, keeping everything very beautiful. Marie, this is awesome. Now, I think the meat should be ready in a few hours, but I think we should go ahead and teach these friendly zombies exactly what it's like to have an upgraded version of a camping site. So for that, I've gone ahead and gotten everything inside my house ready, so we can go ahead and start building. Now, what do you think a camping site should have? I want you guys to go ahead and comment down below what you think is essential for a camping site, especially like marshmallows and everything like that. Now, I am going to get out my full iron set, purely because I'm scared there could be bears out, especially since they start smelling the grill going off. And I'm going to take out two different mallets, and perfect, also loads and loads of tent canvases and a bit of furniture. Just once we build these tents, everything will look wonderful. Where we can go ahead and add all of these amazing things. Okay, I'm gonna take out every single one of these and perfect and let's get building. Mark, are you ready to have a wonderful tenting experience? Because I definitely am. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and spawn the mega TP right here. Now, it kind of looks like trash, but trust me, everything is going to look so wonderful once we build it up and have everything ready. So guys, give me a couple minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and build this and hopefully it'll be done in just a couple minutes. Perfect. I think this is so cool. Mark, look at my tent. It's way bigger than yours. And if we go inside, we should be able to experience what it's like right in the middle. <gasps> cool. Look at all of these wonderful pictures. And it looks way bigger on the inside than it does from the outside. Now what we could do in every single one of these is pretty much add some beds, add some wonderful chests, everything we could ever want right inside. This is going to be so cool. I'm actually really looking forward to everything, which I think is going to be absolutely amazing. Now, I think we have so many more to see. So what I'm going to do is exit this tent and let's go show Mark Friendly Zombie what it's like to have a wonderful tent nearby. Mark, are you ready for this tent? The Inns Loop. I'm going to put it right around there. And if we start constructing it, hopefully this one will be ready in a few minutes as well. Now sadly, we do have to use our mallet to go ahead and build each individual spot. But I think once it's done, it'll be done forever. Look at it. It's going to look so amazing. Mark, how's the meat coming along? I can hear it's still cooking, but it's not done. So let's just go and finish off on this wonderful tent. Well, there we have it, guys. The tent is now ready. So if we go on the inside. Cool. It looks completely different to the other one. And let's not forget to put our wonderful bed and let's add a chest in this one and perfect and also some torches i think this is exactly what we need in here because it's getting a little bit dark perfect there we go and awesome gosh these tents are huge now my girlfriend zombie will never have to set up just four or five tents he only has to set up one giant one and we can all live inside Mark, I'm going to bring you all to my next tent. I think that's going to be so cool. Which, I'm going to spawn the medium beetle in. Which I think is going to look amazing. You guys ready? Let's do it right around uh, here. Oh, perfect. There you go. In some spots, it doesn't work. Well, let's get building. And I can already see this one's going to be such a cool one. But I'm a little bit nervous that possibly it could take a little bit longer to build. Well, let's get going. Okay, inside we go because we've already finished and it looks like it's made out of completely different types of leather. Okay, inside we go and let's see what it looks like. Oh, this one's tiny. <laughs> okay, do you know what? I love this one. This is where you get to know all your friends and everything and you can tell each other some very scary stories. <sighs> It'll be so scary. Okay, I'm going to put a chest right here and I'm thinking we do have a lot of coal and also a lot of flint and steel. So maybe we can go ahead and add this to the next one. Well. 
This one is perfect. Later on, I'm going to tell my zombie family to go ahead and choose one, and we will find out which one they chose. Well, guys, let's get out of here and decide which one else we can actually go and spawn. I'm going to go and do... Let me think. I might do the Mega Shamiena. Well, I'm going to do this right around... Let's do it over here, away from every single one of the houses. And perfect. You guys ready? I need to find the perfect spot, and let's get building. I can tell this one's already going to be so cool. And it's a completely different color to the previous one. So I'm really looking forward to finding out what the finished product is going to look like. You guys ready? Give me a couple minutes. I need to go ahead and build every single one of these pieces. And I'm a little bit nervous that my mallet could easily go ahead and get destroyed. Well, let's just do this real quick. We should be done in no time. Yes, there we have it guys. It's completely finished. So inside we go and this should be the mega one. Now I've just noticed there's no torches or anything and there's pretty much no source of light except the tiny hole right at the top, which I guess it makes it very homely. But we all know we can't live like this. So what I'm going to do is get out our campfire and I'm going to add this right around there and let's add our charcoal. So let's add everything in there and perfect and let's alight it. There we go. Awesome. Now this is completely lit. I've just noticed as well we ran out of beds. So what I'm going to do is just add our chest right around here. So once we go ahead and find some beds, we can just pretty much add them right there. We can all sleep together. This is actually so cool. I love this so much. Now I've just noticed as well we have three more tents to do. So let's not waste any time and let's get building. Mark, I have so many more to do. So what I'm going to do is do the medium sized white tent. And I'm going to do this right around this side. Away from the bear traps. Ready? Jump! Oh, that was so close. We almost fell through. Mark, why isn't the meat ready yet? I can see it using up all this charcoal, but it's not actually eating or using up any of this stuff. Hmm. Okay, I might leave this. Mark, you're not a very good cook. I'm so sorry to say this. Camping is obviously not your strong suit. Well, I'm just going to add a few torches around here, purely because it's going to get dark very soon, and we can find out what every single one of these looks like in the nighttime. So, let's get going. I'm going to do the very small TP. Let's do this right around there. And let's start making it. Perfect. Oh, this is going to be another really colorful one. Oh, this is going to be so cool. And perfect. And if we use a super tent mallet, we can go ahead and build it instantly. But it does cost a lot to make it. Okay, let's go inside. Gosh, this is tiny. And we've gone out. It's so small, we could easily force ourselves out. Okay, this is so small. I don't think I can actually live in here. Mark, we can fit one bed, two bed, three bed, and four bed. So we can all live with only one spare block. Okay, this is going to be really nerve-wracking. Can we actually go ahead and upgrade it? Now, I do see there's a bit of sunlight, which I think is absolutely perfect. But I'm not really sure if I could get used to that. So, I'm going to go and build the medium-sized one. I really need to find out what's going to be the perfect tent for us. Let's get building. And perfect. Let's use our super tent mallet right there. And let's go inside. Even though it looks about the same size as the large one, I think on the inside is what matters. Yep, it's way smaller in here. And it's very dark. So let's go and put some torches around, and I hope everything should sort out very soon. Well guys, we only have one tent left, which is the Bedouin. Which I'm a little bit suspicious to find out what it's going to look like. I'm going to do this right in the middle. You guys ready? I'm going to do it right there, and let's get building. Now the tent mallet is very cheap to make, but if we use a super mallet, it's pretty nerve-wracking that possibly it could easily destroy everything. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's go inside, and let's find out what it looks like. Cool! Now I'm so glad this one's got a fire in the middle because using up our torches would definitely be a bit of a waste. So we don't have to use too many of them, but we have got a good supply. Okay, this is so cool. I love this tent so much. It's one of my favorites. Do you know what? I'm going to tell my zombie family exactly which one I've chosen. Mark, I've gone ahead and chosen. I love the Bedouins. The ones that look like different types of leather all stuck together. Marie, which one is your favorite? <sighs> Oh, the one with the patterns. Yep, I love that one as well. Do you know what, guys? These are so cool. You've got bird patterns. You've got different types of patterns. You've got nether stars with some ender particles. And down here, you have some wonderful different colored bats. Well, let's go and ask Baby Zombie which one is his favorite. Baby Zombie, which one is your favorite? I would love to find out. <laughs> yep, I agree. The white ones are definitely really cool as well. And they look very modern, which I think fits along with our houses very well. And Mark, the wonderful chef, which one is your favorite? I would love to find out. The one that looks like hay? <laughs> well, I guess that's a pretty cool one as well. Well, guys, these houses are absolutely perfect and I love them so much. But I need to find out what they all look like in the nighttime. Okay, here we go. Let's go and find out. I'm really excited. Cool! 
Gosh, some of them actually look a little bit scary. But our wonderful tents right here are completely lit up and everything looks so wonderful. Do you know what, Mark? I think I like this. It's very homely, it's not very over the top, and I've just noticed it's the only place where we have a good source of food. Well, Mark, I could easily get used to this. Well, guys, I think I've decided I love this very much being with my family. It doesn't matter what tent we're in as long as we're all together. Now, we need to keep our eyes open for bears because apparently some zombies have spotted some in the forest. Well, guys, I will see you soon with another crazy Minecraft video. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below the button that's red, and don't forget to press the notifications bell. So, guys, I'll see you all soon. Peace out.